In this video, I'm going to show you how to maintain number ranges for controlling documents in SAP S4 HANA. My name is Undish and I've been working with SAP since 2001 with my main focus in financial aid. I work as an SAP FICO contractor. In case you want to reach me out for projects, please find my LinkedIn ID in the description of this video. If you are just reaching to this channel, its name is SAP at a glance, and the aim is to share SAP knowledge. We are doing a full life cycle implementation based in finance and controlling. Please subscribe this channel to get new videos on a weekly basis. When we post an FI document with PNL accounts, is going to generate automatically a SEO document, okay? Because those PNL accounts are cost elements. And then uh, a SEO document has a specific number range that we make the configuration in SEO area. The SEO document numbers are unique per controlling area. These number ranges can be slightly different than the uh, FI documents. The main the big, big difference is that in the FI documents, we define number range per fiscal year. In CO, we don't need to define fiscal year. We just define the CO uh, number ranges of uh, documents and that's it. And now without any further ado, let's start. Now we are in the SAP IMG menu. Again, we were checking the controlling and we were in the organization, and now we need to maintain number ranges for controlling documents. As usually, uh, when we start, I always give my opinion, and I think it's the SAP opinion for most of the things, is to copy from one controlling area to your controlling area. Okay, let's imagine that this was my controlling area, and I wanted to copy the number ranges of this, this controlling area to my controlling area. Like, let's do the example. Just doing this and click there, and it was done. So our controlling area is this one, and I want to show what is inside in terms of the intervals. We have the number range one, two, three, and four, okay? Here I have already postings because there are other company codes assigned to this controlling area. As you saw it in the um, as you as you saw it in the previous video, when we were doing the configuration of the controlling area and the activation of the the components. So now, if you see, if we see quickly another one, let me try this one from Switzerland. If I go inside, I have this defined, but as you can see, there is no numbers. Nothing. No one is using it. I can come here and define whatever I, I want, whatever I want as, as I need to put numbers. I can define instead of the, the range number two, I can put from three to three. I can do whatever is my is my idea. But normally what we, sh we should keep in mind that uh, for the range number one, we should start in one, number two, we two like this. This is normally what, what I see in clients so if you are enjoying this video please make a like to this video <coughs> this is normally what we should be doing it this is pretty simple if we don't create this when we try to create when we create the fi document with a pnl account it will fail the integration in co and now you know how to maintain number ranges for controlling documents in SAP S4 HANA. Please subscribe this channel to be the first to receive fresh new videos on a weekly basis. Thanks for watching this video as a part of the full lifecycle implementation series. You can find the link of the next video in the description of this one. See you in the next video.